thought a lot about this. I was like, you know, when I get back on stage, I'm probably going to cry. And you know, the love, I'm getting the goosebumps. The love that I felt on stage tonight was insane. Did y'all feel that? And you know, honestly, like putting on the production that we did tonight is the largest production I've ever put on stage. With like stage, you know, all the stage artwork and like the visuals and the full band. And it just felt so worth it. Like all the sacrifices, we were scared. We didn't know if we get like our world back. And tonight it just felt like everything was where it was meant to be. And I just, I'll never forget tonight. We are the body of light that will inspire and inside your life, life. I think the pandemic made me a better person, you know? I didn't ask for it, but it came for all of us. You know, I, I was the first time that I kind of had time to slow down, you know, and realize that I was rushing through my career. You know, I wasn't enjoying any of my wins. And, you know, I've committed to myself to enjoy my wins. Let it sink in that this was a huge goal for me to be on the main stage. And now that we've done it, you know, now I'm looking forward to taking on the world, you know, with all the love and blessings of the motherland. <laughs> I live in Mumbai, so it's always special to me, but honestly, Pune is very special to me. And I opened my set today with the song off my upcoming EP, it's called Manifest. And the first line is, Pune had the biggest show I ever visioned. I've been working on music through the whole pandemic. Like, I'm, a lot of my album was made in my garage. You know, I went back to the basics and went back to my songwriting and focused on my lyricism. So, I have a lot of projects coming out. I got an EP releasing. It's called HBIC, Head Bitch in Charge. And it's going to be a lot of aggressive records that people know me for. And I have an album called The Bridge coming later in the year with more of my musical, my musicality, more of what you saw on stage today. So, a lot of music from uh, my new label because I'm independent now. So Godmother Records, 22 is the year of Kumari. Did y'all feel that? Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.